Christy Morgan. I'm known as the Blissful Chef. Why am I called the Blissful Chef? Because I'm just so blissful. <laughs> eating this way, eating a plant-based diet, eating healthy, you know, saving the plant and all that just makes me so happy. So that's why the Blissful Chef just connected with me. I don't know what it was really, but I guess it was after turning 30, I was like, let's see what I can do with my body. So I signed up for a sprint triathlon and I did that in September, two Septembers ago. And it was pretty cool. You know, Brendan Brazier and Robert Cheek and all these really athletic vegans kind of inspired me. Do you guys know who they are? Yes. Mm -hmm. So they're inspiring, right? So I was like, I want to be like Brendan. So I signed up for my first draft on, and it went pretty well. Uh, I survived. I'm here to tell the story. And, you know, I did pretty good, I guess. I didn't really train that much, and it was kind of like, okay, I'm just going to do it. And I did it. So now I've signed up for the Olympics. How much protein you should get. And, and everybody has different needs, right? If you're a child, a grown child, if you're an athlete, we all have different needs, so you really have to figure out what works best for you. It's kind of funny because a lot of the studies and the RDA and all of this stuff is sort of based on this old school nutrition that has the four food groups with the milk. And so it's almost like, is that really, does that really apply to us vegans or vegetarians? Because there's not really a set of nutritional requirements for us. So it's, it's interesting to think about. So you really, when you read a study that's been done, you really have to, you really have to think, does this really apply to me? because those studies are done on people that pretty much eat a standard American diet. And we're in, so if you don't eat a diet like that, does the study really apply to you? You see what I mean? So a lot of, a lot of studies say you don't want to get, you don't want to eat too much protein. Too much protein is bad for you. And that's true if you're eating animal-based protein, right? Because we know that that's full of saturated fat and cholesterol and all of that. That is true. But if you're eating plant protein, you can't overdose on plant protein. Like, it's just not possible. And the good thing about plant protein is it comes with all these other nutrients and vitamins and magnesium and calcium and all this great stuff. So you're not only nourishing yourself with the protein, you're getting all this added nutrient but benefit, right? So it's pretty awesome. Because if you eat just animal food, then you're getting the saturated fat and the cholesterol. And it really is just protein and fat. There's no other you know, really good nutrients. So you buy those buckets of mixed greens at the store and a lot of times that they're going bad and you don't get to it in time, sometimes I do that. So I'll just stick that in my smoothie. You can do collard greens, I've done zucchini, I've done obviously kale, spinach, any green, throw it in, perfect green smoothie. Green smoothie, would you, what kind of liquid would you add to that? I do non-dairy milk, unsweetened almond milk or rice milk. You could do soy milk, hemp milk, yeah. oat milk, whatever you want to do. Yeah. They all taste a little different and have a little different texture. So, the vanilla plant fusion is a little bit sweet. There's also an unflavored one. So if you don't want any sweetness at all, get the unflavored. And what I do is I actually take the unflavored and I put it into food. So instead of just having smoothies, I sneak it into like pancakes and cereal bars and granola bars and dips and things like that. So what I did is I actually created this uh, recipe booklet for Plant Fusion that has a bunch of fun recipes. Uh, there's a spinach dip, there's French toast, there's um, chocolate chip cereal bars and smoothies, and a bunch of other snacks, and of course banana ice cream. Does everybody know banana ice cream? It's so good, right? You just blend, I should have done that today, right? You're like, why didn't you bring me ice cream? <laughs> but there's all this different flavors of ice cream, and to make it even more nutrient dense, I put protein powder in the bananas when I'm blending it up. So it's fun to like sneak things, to sneak it in, I think. Does anybody want to ask a bodybuilder slash ultra marathoner any questions? <laughs> I want to see it. I want to see it. You want to see it? Come oh, here, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Come show us. Me! Hi, everybody. Yeah. Yeah, I just turned vegan and gluten free like eight months ago. And so, yeah, this whole plant based experience has been like really cool. But um, I, I've done um, <coughs> natural bodybuilding shows and run for the last 16 years. And um, I initially went into becoming a vegan for ethical reasons. And I was kind of deciding how much of my body am I going to have to give up 
because every vegan I know that I'm aware of is just kind of the, the mentality of the bodybuilders that they're thin, little skinny yoga instructors, you know. I started looking at pea and rice proteins, all different kinds of protein powders, and actually comparing the amino acid profile. So arginine, lysine, isoleucine, bivalent, all these amino acids, and compared them to whey. Because that's a real big staple for bodybuilders, it's just the whey protein powder. So I started noticing that they're just like the same. And I'm like, crap, this, this might actually work. So I, like Christy, I believe in whole foods. Really do a lot of foods, but I'm training a lot at the gym, so I don't have a lot of time to just you know cook lentils and quinoa and have them there all the time. So I'm eating fruits and I'm eating a lot of uh, protein powders, and I like the plant fusion because it's really smooth. Some of the other protein powders are kind of a little gritty, and I don't mind that earthy taste sometimes. But um, plant fusion is just really smooth, and I start my my morning by getting like uh, some almond milk, a couple of cups of coffee and some plant fusion cookies and cream mm. or chocolate. Which I think and they're selling. It's so <laughs> So I shake that up and drink that, and that's my breakfast. You know, it's amino acids, protein, not a lot of fat, not a lot of carbohydrates. And I'm currently getting ready for a bodybuilding show, hence the fake tan. I'm actually very white. <laughs> but this is, it all just pops out when you put the tan on. So um, I've got a show next week, and this, um, literally, this is like the 13th bodybuilding show I've done. And being eight months vegan, this is the most muscle I've ever held in my body at this body fat percentage. So I'm like really amazed because I thought I was going to be lucky to hold on to the amount of muscle that I had. And it's totally not the case. 